Hi guys. <clears throat> hey, I uh, wanted to uh, demonstrate to you how to test drive a uh, newly rebuilt engine. It's a 6.5 diesel. Uh, I got this engine at the junkyard and I rebuilt it completely. Um, so let me just tell you a little bit about what's going on here. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I hooked up a bottle with diesel in it and I put some uh, injector cleaner, Lucas injector cleaner in the bottle and uh, this bottle is the uh, gas tank and the fuel pump right now because uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, pump it up to about 20-25 uh, psi and uh, that will supply the engine with fuel okay so let me show you what's going on here the line is coming out of there <clears throat> there is an inline filter going up there is a, a fuel pressure gauge inline fuel pressure gauge it measures up to uh, 15 psi but I you know you can over pressurize it a little bit and then <clears throat> there is a uh, there is a valve fuel valve which can be closed so it doesn't uh, drip because it leaks through the pump if the pressure is continuous and uh, then the uh, fuel will leak through the uh, injection pump because all these pumps have a, a some amount of a blow by and that's just normal with them so over time it would empty out that bottle uh, pretty fast so you know we have to we have to be able to close the fuel line <clears throat> this is engine oil pressure that has nothing to do with the fuel that's the uh, glow plug relay and when I when I want to start when I want to start the engine I just uh, short it out here with with that uh, wing nut for about 10 seconds <clears throat> and that will activate the glow plugs okay that's for the starting button that's the starter button okay most mechanics know how that works all right uh, lines going to four glow plugs on this side four glow plugs on that side uh, what else all the cables I hooked it up to my truck uh, it's it's uh, coming off of my batteries this uh, uh, starting the engine sometimes uh, takes up uh, 900 to a thousand amps eight nine hundred amps so that's uh, nice to see what's happening there <clears throat> also what I'm going to do is I'm going to test all these injectors right in the engine uh, those are some old injectors I had laying around <clears throat> and since I have this engine uh, ready to go test running the engine I figured I can test run those injectors also so you know all the usual setup injectors lines that's a 1993 mechanical injection pump for the 6.5 that's what runs the engine right now because <coughs> um, the electronic injection pump you, you need a computer for that so you cannot um, hook that up and use it for this purpose so <clears throat> I just have a, a tank of water here which takes about 5-10 minutes uh, to heat up uh, 
if I'm running the engine. So, <clears throat> you know, that gives me enough time to test, test it, run it, um, and do whatever I need to. Also, I was uh, flushing the engine um, block and the head with some, um, you know, rust, uh, rust eliminator, uh, engine flush. Okay, so these lines, these lines are the uh, oil pressure lines that usually go to the uh, uh, oil engine oil cooler. But right now I just have it looped, see? One goes to the other, so the oil can circulate and not, uh, uh, you know, not leak out. <clears throat> okay, water pump. This is the um, uh, return flow from the injector pump and the, and the uh, injectors. This catches the return uh, fuel flow because since the uh, the fuel tank is pressurized uh, right now, I cannot use this to go back to the fuel tank. Plus, I didn't want to make a hole in into that bottle, so I'm just catching the return fuel right here. <clears throat> That's where you put the oil in. I had to plug up this, uh, that goes to the heater core inside the, uh, under the dash. That's a half inch plug <clears throat> I had to put in there. And then right here, turning on the ignition, turning on the ignition with this button here. When I turn this on, that gives power to the uh, solenoid inside the injector pump and that uh, allows the flow, that opens up the flow to the injectors when you start cranking. So, I think this is a really beautiful engine, man. I really like working with the 6.5s, it's so, you know, clean, clean design. Mm. Sorry. <clears throat> It's really, um, really easy to work with. Uh, that's a new starter. <clears throat> I have one um, positive battery cable and I have two negative battery cable because the one I had was heating up way too much so I, could, I couldn't use that but then I bought this at the store and um, uh, now it's starting over a lot faster. Before it wasn't cl cranking over fast enough to, to start. So with the new cable it's it's fine. See this this is from a jumper cable and it looks so thick but it doesn't conduct electricity as well as this one or this one. Okay this thing can handle like a thousand amps and this one was struggling with like four Five hundred. So these these jumper cables that you buy at the store, even if they are like fifty dollars, they are very bad quality. Okay, they they are not. I don't know what kind of copper they put in there, but this thing was heating up right here in the middle uh, when I tried to crank it over, and the thing wouldn't even crank over much. So <clears throat> that's why I had to go buy another. Uh, cable, but this side, which is the uh, original Chevy cable <clears throat> from another car, this one can handle a thousand amps, no problem. Okay, so the other thing I'm doing here is I'm I'm running a water pump, and the water pump is hooked up uh, like so. Okay, so. How did I do this? So anyway, I'll, I'll fix that and I come back and I will uh, start this thing up and let you see how it runs. 
and how it sounds. So that's that's a rebuilt engine. Uh, I replaced the the rings, the bearings, all the seals, all new gaskets. Um, you know, cleaned everything up inside and out. Basically, everything that's important is is uh, new in this thing. So. This engine is going to go another 300,000 miles at least, maybe more. So, uh, usually that's how they start out. <clears throat> I get an engine from the junkyard and take it apart and see what needs replacing and usually um, well, I always replace the, the rings and the bearings and then, you know, uh, seals, front main seals, uh, brand new head gaskets and, you know, everything that makes uh, a difference uh, will be replaced. But that's how they start out. Now, okay, I will uh, turn this thing off now and come back when I'm ready to start it. See you guys.